Welcome to this SQL interview series of Data Millennial. In this video, we are going to see that how we can write a SQL query to find the max salary of each department with their department name. So, in this question, we would have two tables or the interviewer will provide you two tables. The first table will have the employee details and the second table will have the department details. So, as you can see, the first table over here has the employee ID, their salary, department ID while the second table has department ID and department name and the question is that you have to write a SQL query to find the max salary of each department with the department name so what you need to do is that you need to get this department name for example department 01 is analytics and for analytics you have to get the maximum salary from this first table so this is a tricky question there can be some departments which do not have any employees listed in the second table but there might be the employees in the first table with a department id for example department id 100 and this department id is not present over in this table so we have to ask the interviewer if they expect the name of such department also in the result and if the interviewer says yes then you have to write the query in such a way that the null department, the department name will be null and you would have to provide the corresponding salary of that department which is null in your result as well as the another departments which is present in this second table. So let's go to our SQL workbench and write the query. So our question is to write a SQL query to find the max salary of each department and department name. So what we will do is at first we will go through our tables so that we can see the data once we'll see the data and then we will start writing the query so the first table that we have is the employee salary details so what i'll do is that i'll simply put select star from and then after this from keyword i'll put the database name which is sql interview and then I'll put the table name. So for us, the table name is employee salary details. So let me run this. And here we have the data. And you can see that we have employee ID, salary and department ID. Similarly, we have to see the department table also before we write the final query. So we'll write select star from SQL interview dot department details and as you can see i have run this query and we have department id and department name now we will go on this question and we'll try to provide a solution for this question so first of all if you see the question you have to get the department so it's pretty easy right so you have to get the department name from each of the department, you have to get the salary. So first, what we'll do is that we'll get the department name, okay? And then, with this department name, we'll map it with the employee salary table. So what we can do simply is that we can write select and we'll take this department ID and department name column. So we'll put department underscore id comma department name from this table now if i run this query as you can see that each of these department id is unique here so i don't need to put any distinct or anything else so i simply run this query and I'll get this department ID and department name. Now, what I need to do is that I need to get the salary, the max salary of this analytics team. So if I run this query, salary details, and if I need to find out which employee works in analytics department, I need to map it with the department ID here, right? So for analytics, as you can see the department id is dep01 now if i go to this salary detail table and if i only filter out 
the department ID is equal to DEP-01 so we have an error here and the error is because we have not given this where keyword now if I run this query so my output shows all of these employees which works in the analytics department and the highest salary is 92,462 which is employee 06 so right now we have only three records here that's why we were able to figure out which employee has the highest salary but in your day-to-day -day life you would have thousands or millions of rows so in order to write the query and verify your output whether it's correct or not first what you can do is that you can select a particular department which you want to put as a condition in your filter in your query and test your output also so what we can do now is that we have this information that in analytics department which is department 01 the highest salary is for employee 06 and as per our question we have to find the maximum salary of each department so now what we will do is that we will simply join this department detail table with our employee salary detail table so let's give this table a name as t1 okay once we have given this name we have to give the alias also in the department id and department name okay now what we can do is that we can simply use the left join table left join and within this left join we will use this table which is our employee salary detail and we'll give an alias as t2 for this table after this we have to give a common key on which we are joining these two tables so the common key will be department id so t1 dot department id is equal to t2 dot department id now what i need to get is that i need to get the maximum of the salary so what i'll put is simply max of this t2 dot salary as max salary now after using this max function as we know it's an aggregate function we have to use the group by clause so we'll put group by at in the last group by and for us the group by will work on the department id as well as the department name so now if i run this query ideally i should get all the departments with their maximum salary and to test our data whether it is giving us the correct output or not we have already seen here that department 1 which is analytics department has the highest maximum salary of 92,462 for employee id 06 so let's run this query now you have your output here department 01 as analytics and the maximum salary is 92,462 now the interesting thing is that you have department 10 here and the department name is blank while the maximum salary is 14878 if we go back to our employee table and let's check that do we have any department or do we have any employee for department 10 and if there is then our entire output is absolutely correct and if it is not then you can assume that there is some kind of issue with our query or there is some error in our query due to which we are getting this maximum salary in department 10 where department name is null so if i run this query now the first query which i have written you can see that you have employee 10 with a salary 14878 with, the, with this department id department 10 now why we are getting this department name null to check that we have to go back to this department detail table and in this department detail table we have to find out where the department id is 10 and what is the name of that department so i'll simply put the where condition where department id is equal to department 10 and run this query as you can see here in your department details table you have department id 10 but the department name is null that's why when you run your query you will see that you have all the department name and the department id 
with the max salary but for department 10 you do not have any department name but you are getting your max salary over here so this is how you can write a query to find the maximum salary of each department with their department name if you want to practice more of sql interview questions you can click on the right hand side of this video or if you want to learn sql from basics then you can click on the left hand side of this video happy learning and see you in the next video